Yeah, what's going on YouTube? J Jamal TV HD. We out here with another little mini review for some Bluetooth earphones on Amazon. Um, the company's called Acorse, or I think the product's called Acorse. I'm not too sure, but anyway, they IPX5 rated for water resistance. I'm not sure what that is. I usually see seven and eight. So I'm not sure what the relevance of IPX5 is, but there you go. They got it right there on the front of their box. Um, they must be proud of it. It must be quite decent. So yeah, secure and stable fit, four to five hours playtime, water and sweat resistance up to 10 meters range. That's about the standard stuff you get with most, um, you know, Bluetooth earphones anyway. Um, got APTX going down in there as well for that extra quality, um, CD quality apparently. Um, one to two hours charging time and about to four or five hours play time. So um, you might be able to get through a week with this if you're, not, you're listening to it for an hour every day. Um, if you're listening to it for more than an hour every day, then you might need to charge like midweek kind of thing anyway. But yeah, so let's go in. Um, these are the earphones themselves. Look kind of decent. It's kind of a standard like um, running kind of design there. You've got the little, um, I don't know what this is called. I call it a handle. You've got a little handle that goes over your ear to keep it securely fitted. Um, and you've got the same thing going on here. I can't see any buttons. At, ah, there we go. Here's the buttons at the moment. So I'm assuming um, you got, yeah, there you go. You've got your volume up and you've got your volume down, which also double up as a skip forward and skip backwards. And then you've got your on button, your play button, your pause button and your answer phone call button. Um, yes, yeah, so that's all cool. Um, down here on the bottom, we should really have like a LED light or something going on down there, but I can't really see anything going on. And we're out of focus, so I don't think you guys can see anything either. Um, you've got the little port there for your micro USB to charge it up. Um, and you've obviously got nothing going on on this side of the air set. So um, yeah, that's what you've got going on down there. I think one of these must be the LED. Um, does it tell you which one is right or left? Let's have a look. Um, because I've I've had some of these earphones. They don't even tell you which one is right or left. I ah, there we go. That's your right one there. You can just see it on the top there, of the handle. Can you guys see that? Okay, no, there's no focus. There you go. You can see there, right there on the top of the handle. You've got your right side, and right here you've got your left side. So um, yeah. Let's see what else we get going on in the box. You got this cool little mesh kind of, I don't know, foamy bag kind of thing to put them in. It feels bare spongy. It's actually quite satisfying to squeeze. That's a little stress ball kind of thing. Um, you've got some other different sized ear cups and earphone kind of, ear handle kind of things, whatever they're called. Um, I should know what they're called by now. We've reviewed enough headphones. And here's another micro USB cable as if I don't already have 2,000. Um, but yeah, there you go. Standard procedure cable there. Nothing special going on. Um, and we've got some, got some documentation going on inside the box. Um, but that's about it, to be honest. So yeah, let's, um, let's try and get the earphones connected to my tablet. Um, so I'm going to put the tablet about there. Let's turn that on. Oh, let me sort this out. Right. So I'm assuming standard procedure, we're going to press this button and hold it until we see a red flash, red and blue flashing light. Let's see what's going down. Oh, there we go. We've got the red and blue flashing light. Right, now we're going to go to Bluetooth settings here. And let's see what's going on. Oh, there it is straight away. Okay, nice, nice. Very quick. Connected. I just heard it say connected and it's got that. So let's just try and see if the volume buttons work. Okay, it's not showing me at the moment. Maybe it's because nothing's playing. Yeah, it's not showing me at the moment whether the, uh, the volume buttons work. So yeah, let me just um, pause the video for a bit, give them a little listen to, and then get back to you. Yo, so yeah, these they're all right, you know. They're not, they're not, um, fam. I'm not gonna lie, they didn't surprise me. They didn't shock me or anything. Um, they sound mediocre kind of thing like the bass is there it's def I'm not saying like all the treble is there the bass is there and you know the mids are there kind of thing but I don't feel like it's the music's not that loud kind of thing if you get what I mean so I've tried the same songs that I tried on all my other earphones um the bass is there as I was saying but it's not as punchy as I would have thought it could have been 
if you get what I mean. It's not as um prevalent as you know most other earphones that I've tried, especially with this in ear design. Um, I mean they are good, they're just not exceptionally good, if you get what I mean. So I'll probably give them like a seven out of ten, or maybe even a seven, maybe a six point five out of ten kind of thing. But um, yeah, saying that they do their job. Obviously, they've got their IPX certification, so um, you know, I think that means they're sweatproof at least. Um, from what I've just briefly researched. But um, at £25, I've seen a lot of earphones that are cheaper and sound a bit better. So, you know, it depends whether you like the whole design kind of thing. They do stick in your ears quite well, especially when you're jumping up and down. Um, but yeah, quite mediocre sound if you ask me. But um, still quite decent for the price kind of thing. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below. Um, let me know um, if you're thinking about these earphones yourself or if you've already got them. Obviously, I like stuff that's quite, a, you know, quite bass heavy. I listen to hip hop all the time. So, you know, hip hop, reggae, it's all bass heavy stuff. And the bass didn't really shout to me in these earphones. But yeah, um, apart from that, they're quite decent. Um, quite decent battery life and stuff like that. Um, they're on Amazon Prime as well. So you ain't got to wait at all. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. Um, leave a comment in the comment section below if you like, subscribe. If you didn't, leave that dislike and um, yeah, just make sure you subscribe anyway. Alright, thanks for watching and J Jemo out.